Hey YouTube, uh, thought I'd uh, give you all an update on some things. I gave you all a little, little on the last video. I haven't done anything to the bug and under the weather. I had to post that on my Instagram. Uh, had sinus infection, just unfortunately depression doesn't help anything. I get a little unmotivated and don't want to do anything. And also I had a death in the family, which hurt pretty bad. Had an uncle that I was very close to. Uh, finally succumbed to uh, cancer. It was pretty much all through his body. They don't really know exactly which cancer it was or what it was. I think they have some idea, but uh, he was in, served in the army and was in Vietnam, so I'm sure he was exposed to Agent Orange and a bunch of other stuff over there. But uh, that's not what this video is about. But uh, for everybody that ends up watching this thank you for the comments that you make and uh you know god bless he's in a better place you know i still love him and he's always in my heart but uh uh shop volkswagen in here trying to clean everything up so i can get the wife's vehicle in here to work i've kind of neglected my shop a little bit and i've been bringing oh two by fours home yeah there we go <laughs> Uh, it's like 37 of them over there and boom another huge pile of them here but if you'll also notice in my shop on the other side except for in that corner way over there i have insulation and plywood now so yeah trying to get it cleaned up and rearranged uh, that's hard to do it's amazing but i got the hood on the put the Volkswagen on the uh, wall kind of get it up out of the way I have uh put some stuff up in the uh rafters up there of the Volkswagen to get everything out of the way I'm trying to make more room for myself just trying to figure out what to do with all this other crap they just throw it out in the yard and burn it all but I'm trying to figure out what to put those at because I got another project I want to do I want to close in my basement I say close in basement walls up in the basement so I can make some rooms downstairs and I don't know why but you know it's just me and my wife and all the kids have moved out but um I've been toying with the idea of introducing myself for the real <laughs> you know watch a lot I've got several people watch my videos and uh I just go by bonus 67 on YouTube but uh my name is Tonus and it is spelled T-O-N-I-S, spelled not spelled like that, but pronounced kind of like, the best way I can tell everybody is Jonas, but with a T. My father was a Jerry Lee, and he didn't want another Jerry running around. So he raced with a gentleman by this name, and I, uh, I got it. You know, I've been asked a thousand times where it came from. Uh, the best thing I know is it's from Greece. Uh, I've looked it up, there's a, a uh, place there called that hotel so doubt that I'll ever make it over there would be awesome though uh, but, um, amazing how heavy a two pound camera gets after a little bit but yeah just you know don't know what to do right now just kind of wanting to get work on my shop trying to make it where it's a little more tolerable to uh, work in especially in the winter time because it gets freaking cold in alabama every now and then and uh like i said one day i think it was yesterday i mean what is today the ninth i think yesterday the eighth it was almost almost 70 degrees and guess what it is the next day and it is snowing outside <laughs> that's what's so freaking crazy gotta love our weather but uh yeah my name's tonus uh, I want to try to find maybe a different name for my YouTube. You know, I follow several different YouTubes. You know, you know, it's just, there are several different YouTube channels. I mean, it's just, people come up with some really good names. I follow two or three guys already and talk back and forth with them about our Volkswagens. And, uh, you know, it's cool they come up with theirs and, uh, I'm not really sure how. Maybe they can explain it to me after they watch this. You know, bonus 67s is something that I was uh, tagged with, or bonus was what I was tagged with in high school. You know, because we used to do a lot of 
lot of things in school. And one of them was play video games. And uh, we always had this one little place that we stopped in on the way home from school. And uh, we played and played and played. And one of the guys one day said, get the bonus, Tonus. Well, and it stuck. <laughs> the 67 is the year that I was born. So it just made perfectly good sense to make my YouTube channel bonus 67. But, uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave it at that and be done with it. But, uh, yeah, Volkswagen's, I've been been neglecting that very much so, like I said, because I just haven't felt motivated to work on it. I am just horrible about that. I get depressed. Nothing matters. Don't want to do anything. I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to see people. It's all I can do. Just want to see people that I love, much less people that I don't. You know, no other than walking around the street and the people I've worked with. And it's very difficult to go to work sometimes. But you know, I only work three nights a week, and I've got to go in every night because if I don't, then it's it's really rough financially. Then that makes everything that much worse. So. You know, danged if I do and danged if I don't. But, uh, you know, I appreciate everybody that comments on my Volkswagen and stuff. And I'm hoping maybe to have some more content on it here soon. I can just get this freaking shock cleaned up. I've got so much crap laying everywhere. But I think I've gotten all my materials that I need as far as the paint goes. I finally ordered me some uh, high build uh, uh, urethane paint. It's a DTM, which is direct to metal. And I'm no painter. So don't start asking me questions on painting. I go on YouTube and try to find the different, you know, things. I've got a couple of buddies that paint, or one buddy that paints, and he's pretty damn good at it. And, uh, you know, I've just got to talk to him some more about some things on it because I've got to finish sanding because all the roof, all this black paint is a lacquer base paint. And... I've done something wrong spraying it and it caused it to crack and you've seen it in some of the videos <laughs> whoops excuse me folks but um it uh it's screwed up buddy and i tell you what i hate sanding and everybody does i don't know anybody like sanding. if you like sanding then come over to the house and i'll buy you a case of beer and we'll sit and i'll watch you sand while i while we will both drink so i ain't afraid to drink a beer too with you while you sand <laughs> and i've got to get my um dryer for my a of uh, my ac system she's christ um uh, dryer built for my compressor system so i'm gonna build a desiccant air dryer and it's going to get me where I, I think i need to be hopefully uh i picked it up from another web uh youtube page called hannah's bug and uh I guess with the help of her father, she built this amazing young lady. And actually some really cool lot she was working on the bug. There hasn't been anything done on the channel in, golly, I think last time I looked, almost two years, if not a little more. And I really wish she'd get back on there because it was really cool what she was doing. I and mean, she was actually doing most of the work herself. Her father was helping her. She had uh, built a desk and dryer out of a PVC, which, you know, like she says in the video, my system's not going to run any higher than 100 PSI, and I've already got, let's see, can you see it right there? PVC pipe run in the shop from previous owner. And I, grab, I guess it's going to fail one of these days, and like I said, but I don't plan on running my system any more than 100 PSI because I don't need to. And most of all this is rated for, I think, 150 plus, I can't remember the exact rating on it. But yeah, I just gotta go get a few more pieces for that. And I'm going to, actually when I build the dryer itself and, and mount it on the wall, I'm actually gonna take and put a box or you know put plywood over top of that in case it were to explode, that it would keep the shrapnel from going across the shop. And I think if I lose anything, it would be the tubing across the ceiling because the way it comes in, I've re redone some stuff. I used to have a outlet on the far wall, which I forgot to put back up because I've got my plywood put up now. 
I've got one the opposite wall of that, and then there was one that way. And I've taken it completely out because it was just really unnecessary. Uh, and the main reason I'm building this dryer is mainly because of my little sandblaster I have from Harbor Freight. So I'm right there. If you buy one of these, get on here, on the little YouTube here, and uh, look at the ways to modify this thing because you will need to modify it. Um, because the siphon tube does not draw like it should, the one that's on it. And the one you buy now may totally be different because I've had this one for almost a year and a half, I guess, maybe a little longer. But it just it doesn't draw the sand or the, the material out of the belly of the uh, sand blaster, or media blaster. Let's, let's call it a media blaster because it's not sand I'm using. But uh, it works pretty good. It's, it's, I used it on a lot of the tins for the bug. And, um, but it, I don't have, man, why does my phone keep doing that for? I hope that y'all don't notice that. It keeps brightening and darkening. Let's see. So if I move it over here, maybe it'll stay that way. Hopefully, maybe that doesn't cause any problems. But I digress again. Sorry. Squirrel. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but it gets a lot of moisture. And I put the kind of little couple of small moisture traps on there. Helped a little bit, but. After a little bit, it's just like spraying water, and then that thing it's not that good. it's not designed for that. So, um, you know, it's I've got some work to do, and I'm like, I hope this desk and dryer that I'm gonna build will be enough because I don't have the money to be buying these huge systems, my compressors, 25 years old, I think, if not a little older, and I uh, keep waiting for the tank to split. I really do. Uh, if that happens, I'm just going to be screwed on painting my bug. I'll have to try to find some other way to do it. I don't have the money nor the means to buy another one. I'm maxed out on everything as it is. I went from being paid up here to being paid way down here now. That was my choice. But uh, yeah, hopefully guys and ladies and everybody just everybody uh, maybe I can get back in on the bug soon you know uh, we can uh, make some progress on it but that hood's got to be sanded completely down there's some wrinkles in it as far as some stuff in the tin that I've got to straighten out but yeah I've got to get this stupid shot clean uh, I'm gonna go out here and see if we can see the snow so you can see snowing in Alabama oh sorry oh yeah <laughs> it's not snowing much but the cars are accumulating quite a bit I know north of here the, uh, the snow was a lot heavier but I hate snow I hate cold weather freaking hate it but uh yeah bugs are nasty had to take everything down off the wall most everything got moved into here. Uh, what did get moved into here? Got way up there. Maybe you can see it. I don't know. Don't matter, I guess. Front deck lid. Rear deck lid. Uh, trying to get some of my stuff moved around over here. Get my paints and stuff put back up. Toolbox. Uh, and that was my father's toolbox. Uh, he had been gone for over 30, 35 or 36 years, but he made his living out of that little bitty toolbox, and that's about the only thing I got left of him, and then I got me that little black crappy box there, I should say crappy, it works actually pretty good, just what I need, because I can throw a few tools in it and drag it to where I need it to, and made me a little table there, but uh, just walking down through here, like I said, this this here makes all the difference in the world. And then I've got to buy plywood for that part and fix the sandblaster a little bit better, modify it, work on the bug, and I've got to seal my roof. My roof is leaking in several different places, and I'm honestly debating on. 
putting me a uh, ceiling in so I can put some insulation in so it'll make, make it a little warmer in here. But yeah, that is the dilemma that I am in in my life. Not happy with my job, which you know, a lot of people in this world are not. If you are happy with your job, you are blessed. But, let's see. New shop TV. Uh, got the children to uh, pick me up one of the Black Friday sales oh, from uh, Walmart. It's an on. On, let's see, on. Ooh, on. And, uh, it actually is. Got a pretty decent picture. That's from Captain America, the first Avenger. But, uh, But, um, uh, it was $98, $94 on the Black Friday sale. So, I'll, uh, like I said, I have all my channels on there. I have my Netflix and my Disney Plus and my Hulu and my Amazon and my YouTube TV. And, uh, also, uh, YouTube. So, I can watch my YouTube channels out here and chill out. But, you know... A little cool. I could handle it being a little warmer in here. I've got three kerosene heaters that I run diesel through. I just don't have any diesel today. So I really had not planned on being out here this late this evening. But, like I said, unmotivated. And I finally got to working yesterday and got all the studs put in, all the insulation put in. Then I got all the, most all the plywood done last night. I had to finish up this corner right here or this wall here this afternoon but I need probably two more sheets because I got that corner to do and then I've got that corner over there to do uh, got a kayak need a kayak sell you a kayak hit me up man brand new I've never even put it in the water had grand plans for that just never did use it but uh my son gave me some LEDs Strips, long strips, I don't know exactly how long they are. It's got about 15, 15 little packets of them, little rolls with transformers. And I may put them down this wall here. I don't know. I'm going to have to look at it because I want to make it a little easier when I go to paint the Volkswagen to be able to see. Uh, you know, it's all great and wonderful. But uh, Bug is still here. I'm still alive. I know it's been a few weeks since I posted anything on YouTube, and uh, shame on me. I'm sorry. Uh, like I said, no updates. No no work, anyway, on the Volkswagen, but there's a lot of damn 2 by 4s laying around. <laughs> I just got to find somewhere in my shop to put them because uh, it ain't like I ain't got enough crap in here. I know some of the guys out there, y'all working out of a lot smaller shop than I am, but I promise you, when I bought this house, I never thought I'd have as much crap in my shop. I got my son's mini bike, which I need to sell. I got my dresser that well, I've had this, and I bought this for 25 bucks, and I'm being going to redo it, and I still ain't finished it up. I got my table saw, my regular arm saw, my drill press, router table that I built, all my other stuff that I've got around in here. Oh, I think the wife is messing me for dinner. <laughs> I'm going to cut this down sweet, short and sweet here. And, of course, got the bug motor in out here in the floor. And I think I'm going to try to get it on the end of the stand tonight, too. Man, I appreciate everybody supporting me. Uh, you know, a couple of y'all follow me on uh, Instagram, and I appreciate it. And I appreciate the comments from my Uncle Die, and I really do, from the bottom of my heart. You know who you are. Thank you. Uh, been watching your videos, too. Oh, man, it's crazy. Go see your family. Because, uh, they ain't going to be here forever. It'll be gone before you know it. You know, I'm 52. You know. I don't know. Blessed every day that I get to see my children, which I don't get to see as much as I would love to. You know, I got to see my son... 
on Thanksgiving Day, well not Thanksgiving Day, but Saturday after Thanksgiving mm -hmm. because of the death in our family and, and Thanksgiving. Had not got to see him in three months or so, maybe a little longer. And because it lived that far away from me, but we just don't get that time. I mean, you just, both of us are busy. Lack of money. You yeah, know, I guess that's a sorry excuse, though. But yeah. Volkswagen engine. Hmm. I'm gonna be out of here. I gotta go inside and eat, I guess. I think the wife just messaged me. I'm gonna have to come back out here because I still gotta get her car in here tonight. And I still got so much crap to move. And part of it me just wants me to throw it out in the daggum yard and not even worry about it. Yeah, I'll ramble on. Sorry, folks. God bless. You know, keep your family in mind. Keep your family safe. Bless them all. You know, God bless our country. Pray for our our president and pray for our Congress members or political people that run this country. Come to their senses. And quit doing the crap they're doing and yeah but i'm not going to get into politics but uh, god bless roll tide you know have a good night